Hi, this is my Sprint uh, Samsung Moment, and I upgraded it to Android 2.1 from 1.5 yesterday, last night. Uh, let me kick this baby on. As you can see, the screen's a little different. You have to actually slide that button over to get it going. Uh, if I turn it off again, there's no hitting the menu anymore. That doesn't work. You have to actually slide, unlock. You can see the fonts are a little prettier, smoother. Everything's a little smoother with this thing now. I downloaded a, a ton of apps from the new app store, uh, the app market. Uh, let's go into the settings about the phone. You can see it's a little bit different. Just a teeny bit different. All the uh, let me get this camera right. Sorry about the glare. I'm just shooting this in my kitchen as fast as possible. Anyway, uh, there's a lot, a lot of different settings on here. You can actually uh, set the keyboard where the keyboard light stays on now, and you can do some other things. Uh, let's see. Here's here you go. Here's the. Uh, all the info on the phone. You can see it's build eclair. Let's see if you can see that. This camera is not too great, but it is running. It's running smooth. Uh, if you go to the market, you can see the whole interface is a little bit nicer. And it's loading in the icons right now. You can scroll through. There's lots of new uh, software out there. Everything works as it should when you flip the phone open. Let's go back. I like this feature too where you can speak into uh, Samsung. You can see it's working. Now it's going to bring up uh, web results. See, new Samsung Behold, Samsung United States, blah, blah, blah click on whatever you want goes to the web and the uh, the browser's a lot nicer it's a lot smoother looking plus you got the little type in bar up there if you wanted to keep searching things and another thing that I noticed playing around with this thing yesterday was that um, the bookmarks uh, when you go to the bookmarks you, there's two ways you can go you can go this way click on that little thing See, you can scroll. As you can tell, I don't have any bookmarks right now, except for that one. Uh, Samsung Group. Let me cancel that. But it's just the uh, the whole phone is just a lot smoother. Um, there's a lot more with it besides the talking thing. You've got the newer application like Google Goggles and uh, the turn-by-turn -turn direction on the navigation. TV, I worked that last night, and it works pretty good. Uh, you can see the little short butts for the widgets and things. Um, music player, I downloaded this thing, which is kind of pretty nice. It's it's like Cube, which I think is very cool. You can scroll through all your stuff like that. You can tell it to play and quit playing, and music's pretty important to me, so that's you gotta have a good player anyway that's the I think it's called three or three cube or something I don't know anyway uh, multitask on it um, I was playing music listening to music last night with my Bluetooth headphones on and also made calls and uh, everything works as it should but uh, this is just a little short preview to um, show you that it's, this thing is working. It is Android 2.1. I downloaded it for free off the internet before Sony released it. Everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, the phone's a little different. Bring that up. You got a couple extra little controls down here. Um, everything's working. Uh, if I go to my call log,
Oh, this was kind of cool too because when I when I backed up everything, of course, I backed it up on the the Google because it's a Google phone. But also, I had pictures along with my contacts on a lot of stuff. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that very well, but the pictures have loaded in with the uh, contacts. So all I did was pop in my SD card and they were there again, which was kind of nice because the last time I did that with the 1.5 update, it didn't put my pictures back. So I had to spend a lot of time matching everybody's face and whatever pictures I had in the phone. You can see they pop on there, but uh, let me go. Let's make a call to my one cell phone. Cover the number a little bit. Let's, let's call it. Oh, that's calling this phone. Sorry, we don't want to call this phone. We can call my other phone. going to take a few minutes, but let me use the scroll button. There we go. Let's see here. I just don't want to let my uh, telephones, telephone numbers go. Call my mobile. It's dialing. You can see there's my face on the screen, maybe. You can kind of see it. There you go. It's telling me my other phone's calling. Hang it up. So that works pretty good. I used it on uh, the wireless last night, which is nice. Um, I can kind of download stuff faster when I when I go through the, all the wireless stuff. So you have a few more settings on the wireless. There's all your modes, easy to turn it on. The Bluetooth worked great. Set up my Bluetooth Moto Rocker headphones. Works fantastically. So far, so good. You got dial up networking, your VPN settings. Um, I'm, I'm not a real techie or nerdy type of person, so I don't know what I'm supposed to have, what it's supposed to do, really. I'm just showing you that I did put it on here. And uh, it's working. I recharged the whole phone last night. I'm at uh, 10.30, I unplugged it this morning. It's 11.30 now, an hour later. The battery hasn't really moved that much, so we'll see how much of a charge this thing uh, keeps with the new software as well. And I did load um, that application, uh, Automatic Task Killer. So I have that in there, and it's running with everything dead right now, except, of course, my email and whatnot, you know, to keep uh, help keep battery life. You can see that's loading right now, and it's got everything uh, marked to die. As soon as the screen goes off, and I've got my screen to go off in two minutes after I lay the phone down, but it's an automatic task killer, so we'll see how that works with the battery life, and hopefully Sprint will have the real release of this thing soon. And the good thing is, is... Uh, I've got this download, and I've got uh, the Sprint one coming, so hopefully um, I'll just have both, and if I'll, I'll, I'll put Sprints in here as well and see how it operates, and if it's not as good as this 2.1, the leaked 2.1, then I can revert back to it easily, backing up all my stuff from then. But um, so far, so good. The phone's working fine. And I'll keep you posted. And it was an easy enough upgrade. you got to keep your old uh, Sprint software. Uh, if you went to Samsung or Sprint and downloaded the 1.5 update, you just take uh, and you have to download the new, the new upgrade. And it's kind of complicated, but you unzip everything put the uh, right software, the zip software, in the binary folder in the Samsung uh, upgrade and you can upgrade to this firmware. So hopefully you guys will 
be able to fool around with it and I know everybody's been waiting for it I've been waiting for it and that's what it looks like Samsung moment 2.1 Android